All right, so we're gonna do a little audio test here before I get started because this video is about microphones and if I don't make sure my audio levels are good when I'm starting, the whole review is pointless. So audio check, I've got a boomed in mic right there and get out of the frame. Okay, let me check the audio levels and then we'll come right back. All right, so I think my audio levels are good. It is a real challenge filming these videos in a garage. If you didn't know that's where I am, this is literally just the corner of my garage. So don't let not having a proper studio space stop you from starting a YouTube channel. Another thing you need to start a YouTube channel is good audio. And today we're gonna to be having a look at this Comica VM10 II microcardioid condensing shotgun microphone. So this is a very similar microphone to a lot of non-powered small shotgun mics out there. There are so many of them, to be honest, these days that it's hard to sort of differentiate yourself among the crowd. I think the most obvious comparison to this would be the Rode Video Micro, but there's also mics from Sarian and what is that one that I have up there? I can't remember. There's one that I got from Small Rig. It's a Symore, I think, uh, that are very good. But this Comica one offers a couple of unique advantages over those two microphones. One in particular that I really like, and another one that's not really an advantage, but it's just a little perk you get with Comica products that I really like. Right now, I am recording this on a Comica VM20 powered shotgun mic. So that's the microphone that I use for all of my videos, plugged into my Canon M5. And it's a great mic, it's right here is right here you can't see it right there right by my face so the key to clean audio especially in a studio setting like this is getting the microphone as close as you can to your face and being able to control that sound so in a space like this i think that the sound quality difference between these two mics you're going to be able to adjust with the camera to get very similar sound quality out of this microphone the big test of this is going to be outside in traffic or wind or whatever and it just so happens that i live on a busy road and the weather kind of sucks today so we're gonna throw both of these microphones on my canon m5 it's nighttime so we're gonna put a light on it and i'm just gonna go walk up and down the street and switch back and forth between the mics and we're gonna see what the difference is between these two sound quality wise what you get for your money with the vm10 II versus what you get with the vm20 but before we do that Let's get this guy out of the box. All right, so the Comica VM10 Mark II. So this is the second generation of the VM10, which is Comica's non-powered shotgun mic for smartphones and cameras. So we're gonna open it up here. So this is the first thing I love about all Comica microphones is, not this thing, they come in these amazing little cases. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, what's in there? Uh, instruction book, looks like it's got a sticker and a warranty card. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, but these cases are fantastic. So, open it up. Why am I holding it upside down? Okay, we'll open it up. And there it is. So we've got nice foam lining here. We've got the shock mount. We've got a foam wind muff rid of my phone. We've got the microphone itself. Got a larger dead cat style wind muff that I believe, yeah, it's got foam inside so you don't have to use both, which some microphones you have to put this wind muff over top of this foam and I can't stand that. And then it comes with two audio cables, uh, one for hooking up to a smartphone and one for hooking up to a camera. So that's it, that's the whole kit. This guy just clips in like so. And then the foam goes over the end. Like, like, foam goes over the end like that. Foam's a little squished, but that'll round out over time. And uh, that's it right there. That's the Comica VM10 II out of the box. So let's get this thing mount it up. I'm gonna stick this light on top of my camera because it's got 
cold shoes all the way around it so I can mount both microphones and have a light on. And then I'm going to go walk up and down my street like a psychopath talking to a camera with a light on it at almost 9 o'clock at night on a Monday. Which I'm sure my neighbors have seen me do weirder things, but I don't know. Okay, so this is me standing out in the front yard like a psychopath with uh, the VM20 plugged in right now. So this is the powered VM20. Uh, more expensive mic should have a richer sound because it is powered But the one thing I will say about using a non-powered mic is that you never have to worry about the battery being dead The advantages of a powered mic is you have volume control on the mic itself You also have some cut filters So if you have wind noise or background noise or whatever you can sort of get rid of that where you have to do that with the camera settings with a non-powered mic Okay, now this is hooked up to the VM10 too. This is a non-powered mic. We're dealing with road noise. We're dealing with wind. It is quite windy out here. I don't know if you can see my breath. It's also quite cold. This is the sort of scenario where I would typically be using a microphone like this. I don't use a non-powered mic in the studio anymore, although it would be perfectly fine in that environment. I generally use them outside and for travel just because I don't have to worry about that battery dying when I'm away from somewhere that I can charge it. So you guys tell me, what do you think the difference in sound quality is? Do you think the VM20 is worth the increase in price? I think if you're looking for an entry level mic, the VM10 II is definitely something to look at. <laughs> Honestly, people keep walking by. This is so embarrassing. The, uh, the VM10 II has one of the best shock mounts I've ever seen. Most shock mounts are super flimsy and you look at them wrong and they break whereas this vm10 2 shock mount is gorgeous it is well built i feel confident that it will last a long time so comica thank you so much for sending me this mic to review if you guys want to review a comica product they actually have an excellent reviewer program that you can apply for just follow them on their social media channels still super loud out here uh, instagram youtube and they're always recruiting for reviewers like me or like you. So if you want to review a Comica mic, drop them a line and uh, maybe they'll send you one and that would be rad. Audio, it's really important. Don't underestimate audio when you're starting a YouTube channel or some sort of creative endeavor that involves talking or making sounds. Thanks for watching guys. This has been actually kind of a fun one, standing out in my yard like a weirdo and I will see you in a future video.